The crafting and technology manipulations that is employed in the design of SpaceX Starship will leave a tech novice with no other option than to wonder how it's built to be so giant and powerful. Even though some people won't really understand the mysterious technology manipulation about the Starship, surely with Musk's belief, it will soon serve its purpose. The erected rocket structure known as the Starship is designed to be the safest, most advanced human space vehicle in the history of mankind, providing safe, affordable, high-speed travel to the Moon, Mars, and even beyond. And don't think of the Starship as the usual traditional airplane that travels through the sky and lands at the airport. Hell no! Rather, the Starship does something way miraculous. So think about the Starship as a rocket that is designed to travel in space for a good seven months without refilling its liquid fuel or land at any airport to take a rest. Hope you can now imagine the great performance of the Starship compared to the traditional airplane, so it's a mysterious engineering concept. Welcome to Tech Space. In this video, you'll find out the looks, parts, and functions of SpaceX Starship interior. This is the 2021 interior update, so stick around this video to know what's new. SpaceX has done a great job to give the Starship interior a befitting design that mimicked the luxury interior decor of Tesla vehicles, courtesy of the inventor, CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, Elon Musk. Starship, the latest from SpaceX, is a real game-changer in the space industry. With Starship, it will be possible to transport cargo and people into space at a lower cost, as well as put humans on the moon and take them back to the Earth. The Starship is no doubt the largest rocket of its kind. It's 50 meters tall, cylinder-shaped, and built out of steel. So what would really be inside this massive rocket? The Starship system is made of two parts. The Starship spacecraft, which is carried by a rocket booster called Super Heavy. The entire rocket is made of stainless steel. By choosing stainless steel for the production of the Starship, the production process can be much faster and cheaper than with other materials. The original plan for the production of the spaceship was to use carbon fiber, which is around $200 per kilogram. However, stainless steel costs $3 a kilogram, and that's way cheaper. Not only is it durable and able to withstand high heat, but stainless steel has a high melting point. It can get up to and even beyond 815 degrees Celsius, which is, of course, a great advantage when talking about rockets. The Starship is constructed in ring sheets of stainless steel plate, and the standard maximum roll height of commercial steel is 1.8 meters. The height of the Starship spacecraft is 50 meters, but the entire rocket system is 120 meters high. This tells us something about the size of this giant rocket. In addition to its size, the Starship is 9 meters in diameter and contains a variety of equipment. The ship's interior includes a two-level cockpit, a large hangar bay, and at least one twin-engine warp drive. The Starship interior is also divided into two main parts the lower part of the rocket, which houses fuel tanks and engines, and the upper section, which holds the payload. At the bottom of the rocket are six Raptor engines. Raptor engines are the newest and most exciting advancement in propulsion technology. The Starship will use three sea-level optimized Raptors and three vacuum-optimized Raptors to be able to overcome the G-force in the sky. The sea-level engine is a modified version of the Super Heavy Booster, having an optimized Vacuum Raptor engine variant to optimize the efficiency of the engine's thrust to approximately 3.7 kilometers per second. Above these engines, there are propellant tanks that provide the fuel to power them, where liquid oxygen tanks and liquid methane tanks are found. Two giant propellant tanks are separated by a common dome, and together, these tanks hold 1,200 tons of fuel. The fuel mixture which was chosen to power the rocket is also an interesting area of study. Liquid oxygen and liquid methane is not a very common fuel in the space industry. However, SpaceX chose this option for several good reasons. Firstly, this fuel mixture burns cleanly, and it will also aid the Starship to be reusable, a very significant purpose which it was built. The second big advantage of this fuel is its weight. Unlike other rocket fuels, liquid oxygen and liquid methane are lighter, which will allow for greater mobility in space exploration. In other centuries, space technology has actually allowed space industries to send humans to Mars, but the major challenge is to bring them back without rocket explosion during landing or major casualties. So to curb this, SpaceX engineers plan to use a chemistry check called the Sabatier process to solve that problem. The Sabatier process is a chemical reaction which uses a nickel catalyst to produce methane from atmospheric carbon dioxide and hydrogen. This reaction can be done on Mars by extracting water ice from the Martian soil. 
Scientists have found that liquid methane and liquid oxygen have the possibility to produce rocket fuel. This, coupled with the fact that Mars has a higher percentage of these two particular liquids than Earth, means that first colonizers will be able to return from Mars to Earth. Now that we've discussed the most important parts of the rocket, it's time to talk about the payload section. This is the portion that carries payload and can transport up to 100 people at once. First things first, let's compare it with the Starlink missions. Falcon 9, which is currently launching the Starlink satellites into orbit, can carry up to 60 satellites, whereas the Starship will be able to transport as much as 400 Starlink satellites to make you realize the powerful engine incorporated under the Starship. The cost per launch for Falcon 9 is around $50 million, while it's only $2 million for a Starship, another consideration that makes a significant difference. However, Starship will not only be used for cargo transportation, in the future it can also be used for things like launching astronauts to the International Space Station, crewed moon missions, or even transporting people to Mars. The payload bay of a spacecraft is the area where cargo is stored or from which satellites are deployed. There are many different concepts about how the payload bay space will be designed for future crewed missions to Mars. The Mars mission is a project that will take place over the course of seven months, and the crew needs to be provided with adequate living conditions and life-sustaining resources like food, water, and oxygen. On this note, each astronaut will have his own space capsule, inspired by Japanese capsule hotels. These will offer a comfortable place to sleep and relax while also keeping the astronauts safe from the harsh environment of space. Sleeping cabins may not be too big, but remember that the cabins will only be used during sleep. Most of the time, the crew will spend in other rooms such as the passenger area. A space flight that will last for seven months to Mars will also require the crew members to change their daily routine. For example, due to exposure to zero-gravity conditions for long periods of time, astronauts may experience problems with their bones, muscles, and cardiovascular system. In order to prevent these problems, astronauts will need a room for exercise and working out. One must also consider the gym equipment, which they will have to use in the gym room. The zero-gravity bathroom design is nothing like you've ever seen before, and from its look, one will tell better that it's not meant for the faint-hearted. Starship's kitchen will be for more than just cooking. It will also serve as a space for the crew to socialize, conduct research, and practice skills. The food served on Starship will, of course, differ from the typical dinner on Earth. Meals are thermostabilized, meaning they've been heated to a particular temperature for a set amount of time. This process destroys all bacteria and enzymes, leaving it with safe and tasty food that can last for months. The next room on the Starship will need to be a hold space, which will be used for all cargo needed during the mission, such as Mars rover vehicles. In addition to the rocket-themed rooms that SpaceX has already revealed, there are also some other concept designs that have been floating around on the Internet. One is a space concert hall, and another is a viewing gallery with a window. And this newest design is very great and looks really impressive. Its color-coded upgrades and three different ceiling heights no doubt leaves one with a great impression. What other cool stuff would you like SpaceX to add to the Starship? Please do well to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time, please like, share, subscribe. And while you're still around, why don't you click on one of those flashing videos on the screen for more content?